Hello Flight Simmers. Just want to give you an update on my sim pit here. I bought a new application. It is called Remote Flight and it's for the iPad and the iPhone. Let's bring up their website here. And they have a whole bunch of uh, applications. And the Radio HD and the Map HD are for the iPad. And the rest, the autopilot, HSI, map, communications, and nav, that is for either the iPad or the iPhone. Um, and I purchased the map HD and the autopilot. Um, and I'll be running both of these apps on my iPad. Um, and I can show you how that works. So here we are in FSX. Let me pause it and we are in I just departed from Santa Monica California and we are turning to the south here as you can see uh, let me turn a little bit more and what this does this map it'll follow how um, it'll follow where you are in FSX. So off to my left here, if you look out the screen, you can see LAX out there. Uh, we'll be passing by shortly and we're off the coast. And here we go, if you look on the remote flight, you can see that LAX is right here. And here we are coming along. Um, we are currently at um, 1,000 feet and it shows you here we're at 1,045, we're going up, yep, we're going up. Um, let me show you the autopilot, let me get that going so we can, um, so I'm gonna say that we're gonna be our, alt oh. so we have altimeter, vertical speed, and heading, and our altimeter will set to 2,000 and we'll enable that autopilot altimeter and we are currently at 1300 and uh, we can tell it to, tell to climb um, I don't know we'll do 800 feet and we should be climbing oh gotta turn this on sorry there we go and there it goes up. Now let's do a heading. Let's do 180. Turn this to heading. Um, go, go, go. There we go, 180. And it's turning to the right. And we can see right here, south 180 our bug is there and let's bring up the map view and we can see that we are turning now let's go over this map view here there's a whole bunch of different settings that you can do if I click on um, this set button here it can do the update frequency of 1 second, 2 second, 3, 5, 10, 30 map style I had right now it's on Google Aerial um, and let's change it to just Google map save and that's what the Google map will look like well, it has to update let's let's see let's do Google hybrid there we go there's Google hybrid and uh, let's change our settings so we can go back inland Go back here and let's go to what's the southeast 120 125 and go back here and you can see the plane starting to turn We've got bank angle going on over here and we're turning inland now um hopefully I don't know how high those mountains are see 
Also here we can see that we're going 181 knots. Here it shows us our wind speed. It's the wind's coming out of uh, 211 at nine knots. Okay, and let's go back into settings. And you can, they have a whole bunch of different uh, aircraft icons. So let's go to Boeing 737, save it. And here we are in a Boeing 737, but it does not update your FSX. It's just that program. As you can see, we're still in the Beechcraft. Um, you can also set that icon to be big, medium, small, or tiny. Let's try out big. Go to big, and there it is. Um, let's go back to tiny. Save it. And we got a tiny Boeing. Go back, and let's say we want our RNA um, CRJ. There's a small, tiny CRJ. So this is this new app that I purchased. It's called Remote Flight. I highly recommend it. It's easy to set up. There's a uh, little application that you need to run. Um, where is it? It is called... remote flight this application here you need the server port IP address and you can also do a uh, flight plan so whatever flight plan that you have in your FSX folder you can uh, uh, mount it um, from here flight plan. so here it is remote flight in action thanks for watching